Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to a new video of my tutorial series NX Gamified. I am usually implementing games and gamification methods within my online trainings and face-to-face -face workshops to help people increase the learning curve. And it works pretty good because every game or gamification element is concerning Siemens NX. Today I'm going to show you some functions and some combination of functions. You will have the chance to learn something and, well, have some fun by playing a game with me. Today's topic is about coloration by using the object color or the feature color and a combination of both. And you will also learn something about replays. And if you still have no idea or if you don't catch up, maybe there are some prerequisites to be fulfilled. And I recommend you to watch my playlists about NX Cat secrets where you can learn a lot about horizontal modeling techniques, replays, copy paste and all these pretty interesting things. Today we are playing the nutshell game and therefore I need some geometry which I'm gonna create now. And as you can see I have removed all the parameters. I'm also gonna remove this one because I'm gonna focus on just this geometry which you see here. There are three dump bodies. They don't have parameters, they're not driven. And you could see it when I was doing the copy. Even there, there was no associative relation, however, but it's not required for this type of game. What we've got here now is three bodies and three features. Each of these features contains one of these bodies. And I can now define a specific body color by selecting the body. Do not select the features, because if you select a feature, there won't be a color dialog appearing. If you select the body instead, like this, you can see there is added object display you now have access. If you select faces instead, of course, if you select a face, you can also edit its display. But I do not recommend you to use it if not necessary because it's a little bit more complex. And I've seen people doing this. I've seen people selecting faces like this instead of the body and using the coloration dialog to define a specific color. If you do it like this, the game is not going to work because we need a unique relation to the overall body. That's why I always select the overall body and not its faces if you want to color the overall body. I'm going to select my edit object display now and define a specific color. It's green. So about this game, we usually are using nutshells and we have one sphere. I don't want to create a sphere in here. Just imagine this is my sphere and these are some dummy spheres so one sphere has a specific color and what i'm going to do now i'm going to create hulls by use of the feature color dialog right click your features assign feature color and use a specific color like in this case it's blue that's fine now we have a kind of nutshell situation where i have blue nutshells and one green body somewhere it's in the center right now i'm just going to undo this selection filter and how does this game work well by replacement, I'm going to replace this one via right click by this one. And the question now is, where is the green color? Just have a look. If I assign feature color again and set to no color, you can see it's on the left. By replacing one feature by another one, the object below the body which contains the color, which has the relation to the color, is going to switch from one feature to the other. That's how the game works. I'm gonna cancel this. Just remember, the green body is here and now it's time to start the game. The question now is where is the green body? Use the poll function on the upper right of this video to give your tip or use the comment function below to discuss your ideas. But nevertheless, I'm gonna show you the solution at the end of this video. You might ask yourself now which coloration is better? Well, it depends on your use case. If you want to color one body, use edit object display. And if it's just about a few faces to be colored, use feature color. And in combination with feature color, you can use face groups from Synchronous Modeling. I've already created a video concerning this issue, which I'm now going to link on the upper right of this video. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate that. Use the like button if you like. Use the comment function if you have questions or want to discuss some specific topics. I'm uploading tons of videos a week. And if you haven't subscribed it, 
I recommend you to do because there will come a lot of content concerning increasement of your modeling techniques within Siemens NX, also concerning some freeform rendering and all these pretty cool stuff. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.